A new product from 7 bucksapopcom They are the Pop Shield Soda Tubes for your Funko Sodas. Let's open these guys up and see if they're any good. Let the collecting begin. What's up guys, I'm Jason and you're watching another video right here on Phoenix Poptastic. So the new Pop Shield Soda Tubes from 7 bucksapopcom very, very awesome. These were sent out to me by 7 Thank you, Jason, so much for sending those out to us. Um, you can get a six-pack of these for $19.50. Not bad. So if you have a collection of sodas that you want to get protected, these might be the way to go. So let's crack this thing open, see how good they are, see what they're like. I mean, there's no other way to do it but to dive in and see how they go. So it comes right there in like a little six-pack right there. Let's pop one of them out here. I'm curious how thick these things are, how well they hold up to things, and all the different ways that you can actually display your sodas on these. So they feel kind of like the thickness of a pop stack, not a pop armor. Um, they feel a little thinner than a pop armor, more like a pop stack that you would get from Funko themselves. Now the lid goes on very tightly. It was very like suction cupped, very fit to the, the can, you could say. Comes off very, oh, it stays on there very secure. And then inside the little container here, you have what it looks like to be one of the pog stands right there. And they do not fit on top, but they do... Oh, that's pretty awesome. So there's a little, like, indent on the top of the can here, on the top of the protector. And your little stand actually sits inside that little indent. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that. I dig that. Now, I remember seeing... On other people's reviews, yes, so here is a little sticky pad so that you can stick your figure down inside of it. Oh, and by the way, we do have a Maleficent soda here, still sealed, hoping to get a chase out of it that we got from Toy Fiends the other day. So let's see if this thing will have a chase here in just a moment. Um, but yes, like I was saying, these little sticky pads here on, the, on this little piece of paper here, you can stick them down on the bottom or stick them on the bottom of your Funko soda. And then you stick it down in there and it'll stay pretty secure, you know, kind of like that. That's, that's pretty awesome right there. Or you can put the can down inside as well. And then you can put the top on here and put this on here and, hmm, so maybe like that. And then you can put the pog right up in front of it like this. Oh, dropping the pog. Let's pop it on there. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so... First thing I'm noticing right off the bat is that there, when you do it like this with the can inside, there's not much um, room for the figure to sit on top because the pog here is directly in the middle. It's directly in the middle, so it's hard to stick a figure on the back, and it seems to make it lean from either side. I wonder if I can turn that around. It still leans to one side. It leans more for... Yeah, okay, so... Because the slit or the little, you know, indent there that you put the pog in is more in the middle, it makes it a little bit more difficult to stick the figure behind that. But you could put the figure there and then put this off to the side like so, you know, something like that. Or you could, I mean, there's different ways you could do it, I'm sure, I'm sure. But mainly I think this is good for like sealed sodas. If you want to keep a soda really sealed, that's a good way to do it. Or you can have it, and these tops are really secure though. Or you can have, you know, the figure down inside. And again, you can use the sticky piece to keep the figure secure in there. And then you can pop this on top here, put this guy to the side, and maybe set him up side by side like this, you know, kind of like that, and put it on the shelf. That would work. Or you can put the the little pog thing down on the bottom and put this lots of different ways you can figure out how you want to display them in your house for sure so let's uh let's get these so we got six of them here um very nice little packaging um for 20 bucks and you get six protectors for your soda i think that is a good deal just looking in the box to make sure there wasn't anything else in there um i did get a little piece of just paper it's just paper let's go it's folded let's see oh there are instructions okay so Step one, you put the sticky dot on the bottom of your figure. You put your uh, pog in the little pog holder is step two. So there's different ways to display it. You have side by side. Okay, so you can put the can in one 
and then use another one of the protectors for your figure. So then you have two there, kind of like so. And then you can pop the pog on top, I guess, of one of them, kind of like that. Okay, or you can do a three piece where you have them all separated out, you know, down like that. Or you can do a sealed can. Oh, and then you can stack them as well. So check that. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So the bottom indentation here goes right into the top can indentation and they stack like that. So if you have tons of them, I mean, $20 for a six pack isn't bad. So you could get quite a few. Um, I did see that they had multiple packs on there where you could get like two of these six packs for $35, something like that. So not bad at all. But you can stack them. You, there's just so many different ways that you can display these. Um, so definitely, that's really cool. Okay, moving on. I'm going to see what um, else I can do here with these. Um, so, but then you would have an extra little cap thing. Let's rip into this uh, Chase soda. I'm saying it's a Chase because I sure hope it is. Um, we do already have the common Melissa Fent. Um, but I am curious to see if we can't pull us out a chase one. So we'll pop the top here, and if we get a chase, that would be perfect to put in these protectors. And if I kept it sealed, I could easily just keep it in one of these protectors sealed for a while. So I'm not going to look at the pog at all. We're going to go ahead and open. I'm pretty sure the chase is a glow in the dark. I don't know if I'll be able to tell if it's a glow in the dark. Honestly, it looks like a common to me. It looks like a common right there, so I'm not really sure, but let's see. Let's pull it out and... Oh! Wait. Wait. Is this an international? It is. This is an international version. So, the, okay, so I actually have the normal version. It's still the common, but it's an international. I didn't even know that when I bought it. That's interesting. Well, I didn't get the chase, but that's okay. I do now have a U.S. version and a international version. So I have two different kinds of Melissafent sodas. That's pretty cool. So here is the Melissafent can that I have. As you can see, the designs on them are a little different. This one's purple. This one's got a black little thing on it. And I'll show you that the differences of the pogs here. Um, so we have, you know, this the international pogs that are commons look like the chases. See that? That's pretty interesting. And then when you turn it around... There's the, and they have different numbers. So the US version is a one out of 2,500 and the international is a one out of 10,500. So they have different pieces. Yes, they do. So the international total run is 12,500. The US total run is 1,500. Wow, that's pretty surprising to me. I didn't even know that. I got two different versions of the same Funko Soda. That's pretty interesting to me. I had no clue whatsoever. Very cool. So if I were you and would I recommend these Funko Soda tubes? Absolutely. I think they're great for the price and you know there's lots of stands out there. Funko Soda has come out with um, their own little top capper stands which I did a review on that right here. You can check that out if you got the time. Um, there are some other like companies like Pro Stands. Um, I did reach out to the Soda Coaster. I'm hoping that they'll send us some to review as well because I do see that they are sending out reviews to people. Hopefully they'll be nice enough to send us a review. But I haven't even tried those yet, so I'm not sure. I do have some of the Soda Decks from Rock and Row. I do enjoy those. Those are really awesome. I haven't gotten the upgraded version that has the little stand in the back. But to cover your whole Soda, I would recommend these because you can actually protect the can and the figure as well. And I'll show you here how we can grab this guy. It's a little sticky piece. Do you have to peel off both sides? How do you get it double sticky, I wonder? How do you get it? Yes. So there's a little white sticker on it, and you have to peel off the little sticker here. So it was very difficult for me to get both sides pulled off, but it looks almost like a little sticky glue, which is kind of interesting. It's very uh, flimsy and stuff like that. So stick that on the bottom of Melissafent there. Because this should have been step one. And then you stick it down. I want to stick it right in the middle. There's a little dot in the bottom. So you could stick it right on there. And we'll get it on there. And we'll see how secure that is. Wow, that, that's pretty dang secure for sure. Okay, and then we grab our top. We pop that on there. We'll grab another Funko Soda Tube. Funko Pop Shield Tube. Soda Tube, that's what they are. Seven bucks a pop, a pop shield soda tube. And we will pop our international can inside. 
Did I already lose the pog? I think I'm losing my mind here. No, we still have the pog. Okay, we still have the pog. So I would stack these. I do like the stackable way of doing that. And then we would grab our little pog guy and put that up on top like so. And it looks like it leans to one side. So we'll do that and we'll pop that in there. And there we go, you guys. I think this right here is the best way to display it. Now, like I said, this is the stacked way. But there is the sealed can, there's the three-piece, and the side-by-side. -side. You can do it any kind of way you want, however it works. My favorite feature so far is how this fits into the top of this. So it's pretty secure together. And how this uh, pog thingy sits right on the top as well. I really like those features overall. This is probably the way I will display the sodas that I really like, like my chases and things like that. So I would highly recommend these. I will put a link down in the description below for uh, 7bucksapop.com. Check them out for $20 to get a six pack is a great deal, I think. Not bad at all. And I definitely will put my uh, sodas in here in the future, I think. I will keep ordering these. I think out of everything that I've reviewed so far, I would say that these are probably the best just because they cover and they encase everything. I wonder if these will fit in other kind of like pro stands, stands, things like that. Probably not, but I'm just curious what else they will work with. So I do highly recommend these. If you guys want to grab yourselves ones, I will put the link down in the description below to 7 pop.com Definitely check them out. Um, again, a six pack for $19.50 is not bad at all. And I do, they do have where you can get more than one six pack for cheaper and cheaper prices. So definitely check them out. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And we'll see you next time on Phoenix Poptastic. Thank <laughs> you.